What's up everyone? Welcome back to another video, another vlog. First one I've done in forever and I got some exciting news. I am finally going back to school. I have my first patient tomorrow morning. We're under some crazy rules right now. Um, it's gonna be dentures only for the next, who knows how long, uh, a month at least, couple weeks at least. Um, no operative procedures are allowed, so no drilling, uh, no crowns, no endo, nothing like that. Tomorrow is, uh, yeah, just a single patient. I am tag teaming it with another one of my classmates. We are both going to get credit. We are both going to make um, dentures for this patient and the patient can try them on and pick whichever one they think is the most comfortable, that they like the most. But good news is we're both gonna get credit. That's kind of all I know so far. Um, our clinic can only see about 18 people uh, or 16 people a day, which is wild when you think about we have 110, 111 people in my class. And it's only open Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Um, I think that it, it's good that we're at least getting back to some sort of clinic and we can start working on those graduation requirements. Not ideal, but I'll take it any day of the week. I'm tired of doing nothing. It's been uh, over three months since I've done anything uh, dentistry related, which is unfortunate. Um, later on in this video, I'm gonna talk to you about exactly what happened leading up to the whole close down for us, what I was doing, where I am in applying um, to oral surgery residency and all that great stuff. I have about two and a half hours left till I get back to Columbus, which I'm super psyched about. I, ha I literally haven't been here in, in three months. It's good, gonna be good to get back to my normal life. I've been living out of a suitcase for uh, since I left, and I'm pretty tired of wearing the same clothes over and over every day. But I am gonna jump back into making vlogs, keep you guys updated with how the last year of school goes. I will see you guys in a bit. All right, it is Monday morning. I can't believe I'm back in my scrubs. It feels so weird. I haven't done this in three months. I am ready to get back to seeing patients. Last night was miserable. My apartment was 85 degrees when I walked in the door and it took all night and it's still only at 75. So sleeping was miserable. I'm sure you guys can see in my face. I need to wake up, but I am finally driving into school. I'm so pumped to see Everyone there, um, I, I'm just ready to get started, get my requirements done. Today is going to be, I think I have a denture, pa denture patient um, or an RPD patient, I'm not sure. I don't really know anything that's going on um, other than that I have a patient who needs an RPD or denture. And uh, first I need to go get fitted for an N95 mask. That appointment's at eight, and then my patient appointment is at 8.30. So let's get started, and it's good to be back. Six hours later. I just went to the store, I'll show, I'll show you. Like I dropped about 100 bucks on, um, on everything. Boom. Um, spent a lot of money at Kroger, I'm gonna put this away, and then I will tell you guys all about how this appointment went and the changes that I think for right now are awesome um, for all the students. All right, we are officially back to seeing patients. It felt super weird. Um, today's appointment was the first appointment I, or first patient I've seen in one week short of four months. So I think our spring break happened, it started like March 9th and we're already at the end of June. So that's kind of crazy, kind of scary to think about. I am absolutely rusty with even how I talk to patients. It took me a while to kind of uh, get over that nervousness that I, I felt like I hadn't really experienced since my first couple appointments way back uh, last year at the beginning of my third year. But it, there, there are a lot of new changes. I know we're back, but that doesn't mean we're back at 100% capacity. We're actually at, at probably 15% capacity because there were only three patients on my entire floor, um, which normally can hold, uh, I don't know, I think 50 or so. So only having 
three patients. Everything was super quiet. There were two faculty members for uh, our three patients, so it was a great learning experience. Anytime I had a question, um, so this, this it's a denture patient. That's the only type of appointments that we're allowed to have. Um, and that is just because there's no aerosols being flung around. We don't have to do any isolation, no drilling, um, no blood. And so uh, for right now, that we're only allowed to do uh, removable uh, type appointments. So like I said, anytime I had a question or I didn't know uh, what was going on, we were able to go get our faculty and they could just walk us through all the steps and kind of teach us exactly what we were doing and why we were doing it, which is awesome. Uh, normally that faculty member is, you, you. first of all, you have to wait probably 15 minutes anytime you want to talk to them because they're off with another student. Then they come to you and they, they feel rushed to get to the other students that are already like sitting there waiting and you feel rushed because you don't want to take all of their time but you need help uh, You need help with the step that you're on. Anyways, I just really liked it. I felt no pressure. We had plenty of time to do everything we needed to. This is how appointments are going to go moving forward. So we got a completely brand new patient. We need to remake uh, upper complete denture and a lower uh, mandibular RPD. I'm partnered with one of my other classmates and we are both going to make a prosthesis as if it were our own patient. So at the end of the day, the patient is gonna have two different dentures that they can choose from just depending purely on which one they like aesthetically better and which one fits better. So that's, it, it works out for the patient much better because they can pick between two final uh, treatment options or, or, or final prosthesis. And it works out for each student because we both get experience doing every step that like we would as if this patient were just our own. The only problem with that is that appointments are going to take twice as long, obviously, because each student has to do um, the step for themselves. And I, and I guess it, it won't take twice as long because you have an assistant there. So while I'm not doing the step myself, I'm there assisting my fellow student, which is really nice because not only do you get to see like the, the way they do it and their mistakes and the things that they do really well, you can apply that right when you go and it, and it just furthers that how great of a learning environment it is. So anyways, that's how things are going to go moving forward for the next little bit. And I think week by week, we're hoping to increase the capacity. Um, so as of right now, I think we can only see 16 patients a day total in our whole clinic, which is two floors. And I'm hoping that they next week will even up that a little bit. And our clinics are only open Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So Tuesday and Thursday are kind of just like a vacation day. And then after we're done seeing our patient for the day, we can immediately reschedule them since schedule since our clinic isn't super booked. It's awesome. So we saw this patient today and we're able to get her in Wednesday, just two days later, which when our clinic was up to 100% capacity, sometimes you would have to wait. I'm not joking, like two months to be able to get that patient back in. So we only have to wait two days where sometimes we have to wait two months, which is really awesome. It's gonna speed up this requirement process a ton. So I'm gonna to try to take advantage of it as much as possible right now. Other changes, right when you come into the school, you are met with this table that has masks everywhere and uh, two faculty members are sitting right there with a temperature gun. They blast you and take your temperature, make sure it's not under 100. And if it isn't, then you get this little sticker that you have to wear around all day saying that yes, you did get your temperature check and it's under 100 so people know that you are healthy and good to go and at least not showing any symptoms of any virus. And then you get a uh, just a regular face mask, um, which isn't a big deal. I mean, I'm used to wearing face masks all day because of seeing patients and so that's not a problem. But we are now, when we actually go to clinic and start and we're doing the procedure with the patients there, we have to wear N95 masks. And I had to go get fitted for it. And I'll try to throw up a picture of what an N95 mask looks like, but it is it makes a perfect seal around uh, your mouth and nose so that no air can um, like get in through the, like through the little gaps that are there. So everything supposedly is supposed to get filtered and that's going to keep us safe uh, keep us safe and our patients safe and i actually had to go get fitted for this where they hook it up to a machine and they make you kind of do all these exercises while the mask is on to see if any gaps open up which 
was, uh, it only took about 15 minutes, but whatever, just another step, another thing we have to do. They give you your size and then you have to go check that out from our instrument dispensary every time you see a patient. And then, so we have those upgraded hefty duty N95 mask as well as a complete face shield. So, and goggles underneath, like eye protection underneath that. So we have a lot of layers of protection, which I, whatever, it, it doesn't make that big of a deal. It gets really hot. My mouth was sweating profusely from uh, wearing the N95 mask, but at the end of the day, I'd much rather be safe than sorry, and I'm totally fine with those changes. Anyways, that's how appointment number one went. It, it, was, it went very smooth. I was able to take impressions. I went and poured those, and my clinic partner was able to take impressions. Just diagnostic, so they didn't have to be super great. We went up and poured them in the back lab. And Wednesday, when we bring the patient back, we are going to do final impressions for both the upper complete denture and the lower mandibular RPD. I, I'm excited about how fast things are moving and I think our longest process is going to be waiting on the lab to fabricate uh, the denture and the RPD. Uh, besides that, we'll be able to get the patient in and out uh, much quicker than normal as it, uh, if things kind of stay how they are now, which I'm super pumped about. And I will keep you guys posted. I'm going to try to actually bring the camera into the lab so you guys can see me working. I know most of my vlogs and videos are just me sitting here talking to you guys and it's pretty boring. But I just wanted to give you the update and hopefully I'll have a couple more vlogs coming your guys' way within uh, the next few weeks. See you then.